Hi, my friends. This is a continuation of the tutorial number 033 with a new chapter, the chapter 8, where we discuss about assemblies and subassemblies in technical drawings. We have this assembly, which is called push assembly and which has an actuator unit, a plate called base, two low pushers, one and the second, and a high pusher these two actions to the left and this action to the right. The actuator is this. I suppose you already know about it because we discussed about it. The low pusher is this one. And the high pusher is this one. And then the plate, the base, and also some uh, uh, screws. Yes, in the assembly we have four screws here, one, two, three, four, and six for the pushers. And what is the purpose, the target? of my tutorial. The target is to construct this drawing with a structured parts list, not a parts list. You see here that the components of, the, of this assembly are numbered here. Numbers are both of one number and also a number point another number. Why? Because the components, if you look in the table itself, you see that number one is activation unit, number two is the base, number three is a low pusher, and uh, we have two items of this kind and we have also a number uh, number five which is that four screws and number six the last six screws you see six is this and it points here to this uh, screw. Good. How can we create such a parts list? How to do this? Look how to create uh, this parts list. We have the assembly, which is this one, with all the sub-assemblies and we start by creating a new drawing. By the way, you can choose for a drawing either ISO IDW or ISO DWG. What is the difference between these two? We always used this solution. The other solution is destined to be opened also by AutoCAD, not by Inventor only. The difference between them is uh, that this is a, a smaller file as a result because it has Inventor in the background instead of uh, this DWG which has larger 
dimension because it contains the translation of uh, all the entities and the data from Inventor to be understood by the AutoCAD. Yes, this is the only difference. This is greater than this as a file. We continue to use this, but when you want, you can create this uh, uh, kind of uh, drawing and you can also open it with uh, AutoCAD. Let's start with this. Double click and we have a uh, a3 by default standard format yes a3 iso this is a an iso a format of the drawing good we place here a base this is the base i want to look from the front even if here is a button <laughs> no problem with this and the other projection is from the top this one okay we also create an uh, isometric or perspective uh, view to be understood by anybody not only by the technical stuff. Base, we look like this, we select this corner to see it from the front and we change the scale to be smaller, 1 divided by 8 is enough okay I move this here I, I want to have room for the parts list here maybe uh, this is a better position here we don't see lines it is not likable double click on this view and we go to display options and we activate both thread feature and tangent edges good now we can place some uh, annotations for instance uh, this one also this this to have a drawing as we know it to be. Here we use center line bisector of this base, this base, and also for this uh, pushers. You can continue with placing such uh, lines, but I don't want to uh, take more time for this uh, aspect or this uh, complementary elements. We apply auto balloon not balloon but auto balloon we select this view then we select which parts of this view to be presented all of them and then we select the placement of the balloons which we want to be around this and we have only the sub-assemblies as a whole. This is uh, the first moment. You will see that we can uh, have more than sub-assemblies here. 
this is uh, uh, real when we use the regular parts list. We select parts list, we select the projection or view associated with this parts list, OK, and we place it somewhere like this. We also use the styles editor why to modify the parts list is here you know this from the mentioned other uh, technical drawing tutorials parts list iso is this and we want to change the orientation of the general orientation presentation of the parts list so we ignore title we select from to have the title block down not up and numbering from bottom to up save and you see this change then we also want to change the dimension of the font by using the edit template from 3.5 millimeters to 2.5 millimeters save and we see that this is a proper presentation okay no problem you can read uh, my tutorials the other chapters from 1 to 7 this is the 8th so you can uh, cover this uh, learning save and close and we have a simple presentation with sub assemblies of this assembly yes numbers are here one two three four five six a number of parts or quantity and so on now we think to have that presentation this one where we have a deployment of the components of every sub-assembly you see this yes the activation unit has a number of nine parts this is the activation unit and it has many parts here you can see them also here yes there is an axle because this uh, has a rotation and it moves the plate on the horizontal direction to uh, apply pushing of something there this is my invention my friends yes I, I didn't see anywhere uh, this uh, assembly actually this uh, was uh, one of my 100 projects posted by me in uh, grabcad.com you can uh, select this uh, platform and uh, you take a look of my name there to find that project good we go back let's create this deployment of uh, sub assemblies To do this, we select bill of materials and being structured as you saw in my chapter 7, you have to go here and view properties, select this uh, option and select all levels instead of first level okay now we have uh, plus in this node 
so we can deploy every single part of this sub-assembly. The other sub-assembly, this is not a sub-assembly, this is a part, the base. The low pusher is also deployed. You can select which one you want, of course. Also this one, and these are uh, also parts not to be deployed. And what happens now? Done. Nothing is changed. But with, if we edit parts list, and we also deploy each sub-assembly, if you apply this, you have the whole parts list. I place uh, this here. I eliminate the balloons one by one. And I apply again balloons automatically. Auto balloon. For what view? This view. What components from this view? All of them. How to be placed around the view? Select placement. And we have this presentation. Okay. I place, place this somewhere here. Home. And we can change anything we want here to be well presented. You know what to do if you uh, take a look at that uh, chapters of technical drawing. Yes, you have here every uh, deployed parts in the uh, parts list. Well, this is all I wanted to tell you today. So, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.